Hey guys, so I just wanted to uh, to show you a little bit of a tutorial on the. Uh, I got asked a couple questions about the uh, the Wolf Retro Futurism piece, uh, specifically the the line work and and how that was done. Um, I got asked if if the outlines that I had were uh, stock photography or if I had drawn them, and the answer is I drew them. So. Uh, it's really easy to do. It's just kind of basic shapes, and you draw it on on grid paper, or graph paper. Kind of makes life easier. Um, and then you simply just uh, uh, take your your line drawing and duplicate it and mirror it, and you get the you know the 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 right and left sides for a very symmetrical um, base to your artwork. So I'm going to show you how I drew that, and um, and then I'm going to go into Photoshop and show you how the pen tool works and how it's it's pretty straightforward to. Uh, uh, to do line work in there. Um, it, you can also do the line work in Illustrator which is a lot um, better if you're gonna scale up the image and whatnot but uh, since we did so many effects on the, uh, the artwork in Photoshop that it was just easier just to do it there and it was it was done at a, a, a size that I want to keep it so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, first let me show you this line work and show you what I got going here. Okay so as you can see this is the original um, drawing I did for the uh, the wolf um, artwork you, you notice that I only drew half of it and I didn't even fill in the eyeballs or anything because that was stuff that I was gonna take care of in Photoshop so this is just a rough pencil drawing and then I went over it with an ink pen um, and then just did you know half of the drawing so you can you can see you know uh, kinda here where what you just wanna do is is draw your uh, your midpoint and then um, go in and start blocking in the shapes. So I just kind of, you know, just kept building on on shapes until I had that uh, that that outline that I wanted to do for the, um, you know, for the left side of the wolf. And this is uh, very hard to do with one hand, but um, I just kind of went around, you know, like this, and then you start building in detail and whatnot, and just kind of start getting your uh, your overall effect going. Um, and as you can see it's just really you know basic kind of sketching and then what I did was you go over it with a, a pen like this it's a, a micron um, that I use by uh, Sakura and these pens are pretty awesome they come in different diameters so um, you know you just take uh, take the pen and this is where um, you want to be very careful but you just go in and you start you know outlining your your artwork with your your pen and this is what you're going to end up once you're done doing that you're going to go over with uh, you know with like an eraser or something and get rid of the pencil so you just get left with your outline and this is what gets scanned and then you you end up um, tracing this in Photoshop so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to go ahead and do the uh, the pen tool over this in Photoshop and get a good outline okay so as you can see I did some line work um, like I showed you on that graph paper and I've made kind of a, uh, a cat shape outline and I only did the uh, the left side um, so I'm gonna go through and show you how to outline this uh, I did scan it at 300 dpi so I can do a good um, a decent size uh, print of it if needed and let's just begin okay so you have your line art and um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn this background layer into its own um, layer that you can uh, manipulate. So I just double click on that to make it a new layer. I'm going to make a layer below it and fill it with white. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the transparency or the opacity down to, let's go to like 40%. And then I'm going to make a new layer above this. All right. So this is kind of uh, your base. Now I'm going to zoom in, and let's uh, let's expand this a bit. And how you do your lines is on is based on the pen tool. So your pen tool, you're going to create um, you know points that uh, that you want your uh, your line art to go. And then the diameter of your outline is determined by the brush you have chosen. So first go to your brush tool. And I think it's F5. If you hit F5, um, eh, widen's coming up. All right. Well, if you right click um, for PC, I don't know what, I can't remember what it is for Mac. If you right click with PC, um, you get the, 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 the brush um, options. 
So let's go ahead and set this to, uh, uh, it's at 19 now, let's set it 13. Yeah, 13 pixels, a hard, 100% um, on the hardness of the on the brush. And then go back to your pen tool and let's zoom in a tad more and let's just start drawing the lines. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag out a guide where I want my midpoint to be, which is right about there, I think. These teeth are gonna give me problems, but I'll, I'll address that later. So then what you do is you start drawing your points and just draw a couple anchor points and then get your curve right. Now when you hold Alt and press and, and click on the anchor point, it'll get rid of um, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the bars there. So you can start at pretty much a new direction and keep going something like this. See if I didn't click Alt right here, and I click this, it's going to give it a natural curve, and we don't want that. So if I if I hold Alt and click on it, and then set another anchor point, I'll have uh, one um, outline. So then if you right-click on that outline, and this is PC, and go to Stroke Path, and make sure Brush is selected, make sure Simulate Pressure is off, and hit OK, and see how it just outlined um, your pin stroke? So just pressing delete a couple times on the keyboard will get rid of that path. And then basically what you're doing is you're just going to go around this image and uh, or, or your drawing and do the same thing and just um, start uh, layering, right click, stroke path, like that. Delete a couple times and you'll start getting your outlines. Um, it, it, depending on how many, you know, lines you have this can be a bit tedious um, but it is what I found the cleanest um, way in Photoshop and I'm just kind of uh, uh, just using my uh, my outline as simply more of a guide in this rather than um, I'm, I'm rather than sticking to it too much um, so yeah this is gonna be um, what you end up coloring basically when when you're done with this um, so just keep going around and, and you know select your path. Find good good start and stop points. Um, don't try to do too many at once. Just outline major shapes and uh, do the quick stroke and then move on to the next one. And you're pretty much good to go. You can do different um, you know uh, widths of the brush. Uh, if you want to do some more detail lines in here, you know use a smaller brush and uh, you can do those detail lines. Uh, actually, that owl art that I did was um, a combination of two um, sizes, so you can just kind of uh, um, you know play around with that to get more detail in your design if you want. And I'm just going to keep doing this, so I'll keep doing this and show you what the final is once I'm done with this uh, this left side of the uh, the face here, and show you how the full artwork looks. We'll be back in just a sec. So I'm about to do the uh, the last little line I have in here, and I'm just um, doing these last couple anchor points. There we go. And now I have my outline. Let me make sure I got everything. Yeah, I got everything I wanted to get. So now if I just um, simply toggle off the line layer you can see what you're left with um, the next step is to go ahead and go to image canvas size and let's go ahead and uh, click on the uh, since we're, we're gonna we need more canvas on the right let's grow from the left to the right and for the width let's set that to percent and go to 200 percent and let's go ahead and just fill everything with white again for the background then we can kind of see um, how we're looking here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. See how I, I went over the guide here because I was just I knew this stuff was going to going to be erased. Um, go ahead and select, you know, where you want the midpoint to be. Like that. I'm going to hide my guide. Oop. And then simply drag that layer to duplicate it or you know duplicate layer edit transform flip horizontal and I'm holding shift so I can move it on an axis and there you go you have your outline 
voila so that's how I started doing the um, uh, the line work for the uh, the wolf um, video and this is you know it, it's it's fairly easy to do um, this technique works with a variety of things so if you wanna you know right now we're just I'm, I'm just doing animal faces but you can use it for pretty much anything um, anything where you want a nice symmetrical um, design uh, you can do it this way and again that's, uh, that's how you use the pen tool and remember that the pen tool takes on the diameter of the brush uh, for the stroke and yeah it's all good I may go ahead and uh, try uh, finishing this thing up I don't know we'll see how it turns out I'll use that for a later video alright hope you guys got some a uh, little bit of help out of it <laughs> and uh, um, hope you dig it alright take care thanks guys